Hi there, my name is Delene, and my dish I'm making today is cauliflower and broccoli fully style. So one might ask, well why am I dressed up like this to cook in the kitchen? I'm actually having a date tonight, and the dish I'm making tonight is going to be served alongside a delicious steak. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what you need to make this dish. So these are the ingredients that we're going to use to make the broccoli and cauliflower fully style. First we're going to use a half a cup of Colby and Jack Kraft natural cheese, one block of delicious Philadelphia cream cheese, three cups of milk, and then we're going to use two cups of broccoli florets and one whole head of cauliflower. Over here, we have two tab three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour. This is all-purpose flour. So I actually have gone ahead and I blanched the broccoli and the cauliflower. Now a quick trick is to blanch the cauliflower first for a couple minutes because it doesn't seep off any color into the water and then blanch the broccoli because the broccoli does release, release some green color so you don't want green colored cauliflower. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the first step and that is making the white sauce. We're going to use the butter and the flour. This is like an awesome, awesome dish. It's very, very rich and it goes wonderful with steak or chicken pork, whatever you like. I am actually trying to impress a date tonight, so this is the perfect dish to make alongside a very, very succulent steak. So I'm going to go ahead and melt this flour. I meant melt the butter. And I'm going to go ahead and add the three tablespoons of flour to the butter. And this is just your basic roux, equal parts flour and equal parts butter. What we want here is to cook off the flour so that it doesn't have that raw flour taste. Now that's incorporated, we're going to go ahead and add three cups of milk. Okay. We have the roux on like a low to medium setting. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to a medium setting and I'm going to add the milk. This is three cups of milk. What we need now is a whisk to whisk in the butter and the flour. stuff in these drawers, sometimes it's really hard to find what you're looking for. Now all we want to do is incorporate all that butter and flour to the milk. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it on medium high just to get this heated through because the warmer it is, the more it thickens. So we want to go ahead and get this warm. And this whole process should take about probably like five minutes to get this white sauce thickened. Okay, so this is what it should look like after about four or five minutes on the stove top. And you want it nappe. And what nappe is, is that it just coats the back of the spoon. See that? That's the consistency you want it. Now, we're now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and add all the flavor to this white sauce. We're going to start with some salt and pepper, and this is pretty much just to taste. So a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And then we're going to incorporate the wonderful, creamy, dreamy Philadelphia cream cheese. And I've gone ahead and cut it up into blocks ahead of time. Just makes it a little easier to melt. I mean, doesn't this look wonderful and soft? I love this recipe because not only is it good for date night, 
But it's awesome good it's awesome for kids. It's like a delicious dish to make. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this in. This one. And as you can tell, as I added the, the Philadelphia cream cheese, the sauce has thickened. It's added more fullness and body to the sauce. this is ready, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assemble the dish. So what we need is a casserole bowl and I have an oblong oval casserole bowl. I'm going to go ahead and add my cauliflower which has been already blanched and my broccoli which has also already been blanched. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to season this broccoli and cauliflower, just a pinch of salt and pepper. And to add more flavor, I'm going to go ahead and add some Kraft three cheese blend. This is half a cup. And then I'm going to add this wonderful white sauce that we've made with Philadelphia cream cheese. I mean, look at this. This is just beautiful. Who wouldn't be impressed by this dish? And you want to get the sauce all over the vegetables. Now to top this wonderful dish off, we're going to use Colby and Monterey Jack, the Kraft natural cheese that's already been shredded. And you probably need about half a cup of this. Just want to put on the top. Now we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven. I'm going to get a baking sheet. makes it just a little easier to put in the oven and take out the oven. And I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Now that would cook for like 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, it'll be nice and brown on top and bubbly and ready to go with whatever dish you like. Okay, so after 15 to 20 minutes in the oven, the cauliflower and broccoli Philly style is ready. How wonderful does this look? And I am going to serve it with a steak. I have prepared a steak, so I'm going to go. So this is the wonderful Philly style broccoli and cauliflower side dish. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down here and sample it. I mean, doesn't that look wonderful? The melted golden cheese and the creamy broccoli and the cauliflower. That is just an awesome compliment to this dish. I'm going to go ahead and sample it how we would in South Africa. We would have a little piece of everything on the fork so we could sample the flavors together. I've got some broccoli, a little bit of cauliflower, and some of the steak. Wow. This is an awesome compliment to the steak. It has such a fantastic creamy flavor with the richness of the steak. I would love to thank Paula Dean as well as Philadelphia Cream Cheese for giving me this fantastic opportunity to showcase my fully style broccoli, cauliflower, and cream cheese recipe. Thank you. Could you see the food in my mouth?